Good morning and happy fry A oh, Good morning and happy fry It is day 57 of Walk with Winston coming you from Tampa. And yes, the air is not as fresh <laughs> as it was yesterday. Whew. But better than it was uh, a couple weeks ago. You do feel a little nip in the air, Florida style, uh, here this morning. I hope that you're having a great week and that you are feeling the same momentum I'm feeling by taking daily consistent action. The 100 day challenge is really rocking it in the group right now. We have people who are, who normally would be just kind of taking a pass on their goal, you know, because they have these obstacles put in their, put in their face and, you know, they've got these other demands on their time and yet, they find a way. They find a way. Oh, Sherry was killing it last night. She had a lot of family obligations and just a very hectic Thursday. And uh, she posted in the group how <laughs> she was just a little shy of her 10,000 steps. And she put on her flip flops and started walking around the neighborhood because she was determined to get her goal. Oh, I love, love, love that commitment. And how making a small commitment really generates action. I love it. I love it. And uh, we're going to see tremendous transformation in all these folks. They're, they're doing the reverse New Year's resolution. They're not waiting to January to take massive action. They're taking action now and they're going to have the results. And more importantly, they're going to have tremendous momentum going into 2019. So I am, uh, I'm going to try a little experiment here on uh, with our 100 day challenge. And um, I'm gonna ask you to think about your transformational journey and whether paying for uh, assistance in your transformation increases your motivation and your commitment and your results. So that's the topic for today, day 57 of Walk with Winston. James Wedmore. I signed up for his course. I'm taking, uh, learning a lot about mindset and how, you know, limiting beliefs and mistaken beliefs really kind of hurt my growth and my transformation. And he's a master of really the psychology of change. And he talks about it, uh, the metaphor he uses and the, the vehicle he uses all the time is, you know, in business, how do we, how do we show up and what are the belief structures that we have to completely tear down to uh, achieve the results of our dreams. And one of his famous quotes, I hear him quoted about this all the time, is the transformation is in the transaction, meaning that people value what they pay for. And if you, uh, and if you put a low value on a product or service, then people don't show up in the same way. They don't take advantage of the offering in the same way. Um, and I've seen that in my own life. I, I subscribe to that uh, concept very much because I know that going to the gym and having a gym membership is one thing, but having a personal trainer and a commitment to showing up on time and being part of a, an accountability group makes a big difference. You know, I pay for a fitness focus mastermind and yes, there's camaraderie and accountability, but there's also a little debit that comes out of my, <laughs> my account every month around the 15th. And you know, whenever I make that investment, I'm saying yes to that investment and no to other potential investments, particularly financially. When I make a commitment to a mastermind or a group coaching program or, uh, you know, the internet is full of free content. And how much of that free content am I taking consistent daily action on versus the stuff that I pay for? I find that making a financial transaction dramatically increases my desire and accountability to follow through and take action. Um, so I'm going to try a little experiment between now and the end of the year. 
the 100 day challenge that I introduced last Saturday, it already has 30 some people in the group and you know, a, a high percentage of them are taking massive action on a daily basis already. We're just getting started. Um, so those folks are granted, I promised them free access, they're in for free. Uh, they're going to get tremendous value. We're gonna to learn together, we're gonna to grow together. I'm taking that as a personal commitment uh, to those folks. And by the way, if you're sitting on the fence and you are thinking about, gosh, could I really get tremendous momentum going into 2019 by taking daily consistent action? Your time is now because when we finish the call on Sunday night, this coming Sunday at 7.30 Eastern, I'm closing the door to free access. Everybody who's in on that call, anyone who's invited and, and signed up as a member of the group, you're in free access through the end of 2018. And I'm here to support you and I'm doing it as my gift and my, and I'm surrounding, you know, I'm getting the gift too because I'm surrounding myself with lots of people who are on the same journey as I am for personal transformation. But then starting Monday, October 1st, anyone who raises their hand and wants to join the group is going to pay a nominal fee. Uh, I'm going to ask them to pay $100 a month for the three months remaining in the year, $300 total. Not because I need the money, uh, but I, I'm curious. I'm genuinely curious about uh, those folks and how they show up in the program. They're going to come to the exact same course. They're going to get the exact same support. They're going to be part of the same community. The only difference is they're going to be paying uh, that nominal fee and I'm, and I'm just going to be you know no no different treatment no different nothing different about them they're going to be in the exact same calls doing the exact same work as all of us and I'm really going to be curious to see of that group you know what's their participation on the calls how are they jumping into the community what kind of before and after results do they get now this is not a you know, true scientific experiment. <laughs> it's not a control group. We didn't do A-B split testing and all the sophisticated marketing things that would really give us a true indication. It's just, uh, I'm very curious about this because I know for me personally, when I invest in things, I get a much bigger result. Um, but, you know, I'm already seeing great results from our free group and the people who took massive action. So maybe the way to think about it is everyone who's jumping in before Sunday, you're getting the bonus. You're getting the bonus of uh, this kind of access with no, monetary, no additional monetary investment. You're investing your time, you're investing your energy, you're investing, you're going to help shepherd and, and uh, support all of our new members. And that's an investment. I don't take that lightly. But we're going to see whether an additional financial investment makes a difference in the results for the others. So let's have fun. Let's experiment with that trend, uh, that concept. And I'm curious, what's been your experience with transformational support? Do you get bigger results when you invest money in addition to your time, energy, and spirit into your transformation? Comment in the section, in the comments below. I'm really, really curious about this concept and whether it makes a significant difference in your transformation. And finally, this weekend, I'm gonna do a couple special videos related but not exactly on the same topic. I'm gonna to talk about how, <laughs> well, to talk about how people should uh, yield to pedestrians in the walkway. No, um, you saw that moment of terror in my eyes. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna, I'm gonna talk about how the words that are spoken over someone's life can radically transform their outcome. I'm gonna, on Saturday, I'm gonna talk about my dad 
and how his life went from shanty to seaside and how in my view he magically created that life just by his belief system just by the actions he took uh, amazing story of of going from one state of light to another by the actions and beliefs that he had throughout his life so I'm going to share that story from my perspective and then on Sunday I'm going to tell the I'm going to tell a very similar story about my own life in terms of these kind of magical decisions these kind of turning points in my life so these are both a little bit longer form videos probably going to be walking like this but they'll be longer form more biographical and I hope that these stories inspire you um, to look back on your life for those magical moments as well so with that you guys let's have fun let's experiment let's see whether uh, financial investment ups the ante in terms of our transformational journey with that you guys have a great Friday I'll talk to you soon